Welcome back to the channel folks, Keith here from Come On The Hoop Celtic, guess what? Three days to go before Celtic will open a can of whoop ass against Hearts and be confirmed champions. As we got the news this week off UEFA, Celtic win the league, we're straight into the group stages, our first time since 2017-18 season, we're all buzzing. But the good news is, Ryan Christie and Barmitt got promoted last night to the Premier League and we're going to get £2 million from that incentive promotion which is fantastic At the end of the day we saw Ryan Christie for 2.5 million last season he wasn't at it, like majority of the players and the deal was if he helps them get promoted Celtic would benefit an additional 2 million which is fantastic Christopher Royer as well he's going to give us 3 million well Brentford's going to give us 3 million because we saw so we sold him for 13.5 million to Brentford last summer the Thomas Franks team the team that Got Yvan Tony and got promoted. The lad that we should have got, but we didn't get. Like another John McGinn, you could say. But Christopher Royer, look, okay, it's an additional three million, five million in the kitty towards the summer. Could be towards the Jota fee, could be towards the Carter Vickers fee, or it could be towards a player that's currently being scouted at the moment by Celtic scouts in Sweden. He played for he played for the the leaders at the moment, Harmerby. Now the top of the league. They played Malmo on Monday night and one of the Celtic scouts was looking at him. About this guy, Mohamed Yezoi, he's six foot one. He's 25 years of age. He's an Iraqi international, but he was born in Sweden. But he just decided to go for the, the motherland and play for Iraq on four different occasions. He can play left wing, left back, very box to box defender, which is class to see. And he has 14 assists. 14 assists in his 40 games at Harmby and 4 goals in there as well. Greg Taylor's playing outstanding as we know but there's there's a bit of cloud over the left back situation because people are asking me on the channel what's going on with Scales? Is Scales injured? Are we going to see Scales again in the Celtic short before the end of the season with these 3 remaining games left? I really don't know. Adam Montgomery has to come back from Aberdeen. Bolingoli wants out. It's a bit of a shambles, but it's it needs to be it needs a rebuild there, and Taylor's on form as well. So, look, money's coming through. On the situation regards to Jota, there is another club on interest on Jota, and it's Fulham. Fulham love getting the Portuguese players, by the way. Obviously, Cavalho it could be on his way out. Or Fulham, Liverpool are favourites to land them, so it looks like they want to get Jota in as well. But Jota has expressed his feelings that he wants to stay at Celtic on a permanent deal reports that we triggered the contract to 6.5 million but the stumbling block as i said yesterday is he wants 45 grand thanks to the comments that he said yesterday in the channel give him the 45,000. but if he's going to be the highest played player at the club ahead of callum mcgregor i don't i do not agree with that whatsoever yes 14 goals 14 assists you know he's been class but look at I definitely don't think Jota is worth 45000 Yes, I know he's only young. He's only in his early 20s. And we could sell him. We could give him that springboard Champions League football. Which we're guaranteed next season. Get my good appearances in there. Get more goals and appearances in domestic football. And we could sell him off for £12 million, £13 million. But you have to see what happens in football. Carter Vickers, as I said yesterday. The problem is with Carter Vickers. He's reportedly on sixty-five grand a week at Tottenham. With one year left in his contract. If he's going to take the pay cut. Come to Celtic. Happy days. There's six EPL teams in from. The latest was Southampton. And there was talks of Fulham as well. So time will tell. Five million in the kitty. I think Ange. John Hartson said it the other day. On the Go Radio podcast. Give Ange 20 plus million. This summer. Back the man to the hills. We need to go a step higher. We're going to be champions. We need to keep. Regain the league next season. And get a bit of more, you know, advanced European experience as well, which is the Champions League level. At this moment of time, Celtic are nowhere near Champions League level because of the quality of the teams that we be playing against. So if you can bring in one or two good names with this, the likes of Mark Lawwell having City connections, you don't know what could happen. So subscribe to the channel. I'll speak to you all soon. Hail, hail. Up the Celts.